Hello everyone, this is Peter, and I have a tutorial here on how to write an alien script. It's not alien script, although it does kind of look alien, and you might have noticed that I've snuck some weird alien type uh, writing into some of my drawings, and some of you might have been curious about that. So this is what it is. I'll try to explain it the best as I can. It is kind of complicated at first, uh, so just I'll try to explain it. Yeah. Uh, it's based off, it's still the English language, it's just a different alphabet based off these three tic-tac-toe grids and where each letter is in each grid. You fill in the grids um, starting at the left, at the bottom left hand corner up to the right, top right corner of each grid. As you can see the order there, you all know the English alphabet, so here's the Elian alphabet. The first nine letters are the most basic and the simplest, so make sure you get these before you go on to the rest of the letters. Um, so we have A, B, C, etc. Um, you'll notice that A, for example, is a symbol with a line on the top and the right hand side. If you look at A in the grid, it's touching lines on the top and right hand side. Look at B. It's a symbol with lines on the top, right hand side, and bottom. B in the grid is touching lines on the top, right hand side, and bottom. C, it's touching lines in the grid on the right hand side and bottom, and that's what its symbol looks like. Uh, it's a very, fairly simple pattern. I hope I've explained it well. Um, the rest of the letters in the alphabet look like this also. We just make small changes um, to differentiate between the three different grids. Uh, pause it here if you haven't figured this out yet, and uh, Make sure you understand the first nine letters. All right, the second grid is going to look complicated at first, but it has only one major difference from the first grid. The main major difference being that uh, for each spot in the grid, you merely take one of the lines and make them twice as long, or twice as long or longer, preferably. Uh, you see here I'm writing some of the uh, possible ways to write each letter. In the first grid there's really only um, basically there's only one way to write each letter but here we see that there are two, three, in the case of N, almost infinite ways to write the letters. Uh, so you really just um, take the two lines that the grid is touching, that the letter is touching on the grid, and then make one of them longer. It's just that simple. You see that J has a line on the top and the right hand side and you just uh, make one longer. It's that simple. And you can really have as many combinations as you want because you can just make different sides of it long. So uh, take a look at this until you get a hang of it and then we'll move on to the third grid. Alright, so for the third grid we just make one minor change again. Um, from the second grid. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna add a dot at the end of one of the lines for each position in the grid for each letter. Um, really it doesn't matter at all at the end of which line you add the dot. Um, basically the rule of thumb is to just try to add it um, to a line that won't make it look like the dot is um, being applied to another letter next to it, so you know, just be wise about it when you're writing. Just the goal is to make it legible, but of course, with Elian script, the goal is to also make it look awesome. So um, once again, the third grid, we just add a dot to the end of one of the lines for each letter. Um, I really hope this made sense. Uh, feel free to ask any questions below in the comments um, for your enjoyment. I'm now going to write, uh, well, enjoyment plus learning, I guess. I'm now going to write some, a sentence for you a few times in Elian just to see, just so you can see what it looks like. All right, so the first sentence that comes to mind is, uh, I like to run around in circles. That's drawn just from my mind. Okay, so, um, I guess I'll just write it a few times for you. Um, in slightly different styles. There's so many ways to write with Elian. Um, here's a fairly basic way. Um, just, uh, you know, as you write, 
just work on your spacing. Um, it's easy to let words run together sometimes, and you just need enough so that it's easy on the eyes. Uh, there you go. The first sentence is fairly basic. Just use all the letters as they look in the grid. And uh, as I write more sentences, I'm going to improvise a little bit. That's the beauty of Alien script. As long as the letters follow the basic rules, you can pretty much do anything you want with them. Uh, slowly as I go along, you s you'll see that the words, each group of letters, will slightly, slightly get more and more vertical, more and more stacked on top of each other and jumbled together. As long as they follow the general rule that you read the word from the top left to the bottom right, it usually works out all right. Um, and squeeze them together, and there's all sorts of ways that um, Alien Script letters work well together, and just looks cool. You'll see that I've changed my uh, K's and T's a little bit. Um, it's just a personal thing I like doing. I think I saw someone do once. It still pretty much follows the rules. <laughs> Life is all about pushing the limits. Anyways, so uh, I think I have one or two more sentences to write here. Basically, the good way a good way to get good alien script is to just write it a lot. Maybe find a couple of pen pals. Um, I have one or two. Uh, I'm pretty bad about writing back, actually, but I get to it. It just takes me a while. Until you get really good at it, it'll probably be really exhausting to write much in alien script. Partly because uh, it just takes a lot of mental stimulation and thought. Anyways. Please ask any questions or anything in the comments, and I'll try to answer them. I'll also post a link below that you can look at if you're more of a visual uh, web page learner than a video learner. Thanks.